What is up guys? God bless you all. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna install a new steering wheel on the Nissan Sentra. So I do like a lot how it looks. So yep, like you guys heard, today we're gonna install a new steering wheel on the Sentra. Let me show you. And boom, yeah, here we have uh, the new steering wheel that we're gonna install on the Sentra. And this is nothing special. This one is another steering wheel from eBay. And let me just take it out of the box and show you real quick. And boom, yeah, here we have the new steering wheel this one uh, is a deep dish and this one basically is a fake leather you guys can see it right there this one doesn't have any stitch because i'm trying to look uh probably like oem i don't want like any blue or red stitching the reason that i'm changing the steering wheel is because the one i have is uh it's, it's getting broken on the suede a little bit but the main reason is because of boom that I want to change my hub here I have the hub adapter I'm going to be using and the main reason why I'm using this one is because of this so basically this turn off your signals and that's the issue that I'm have let me show you real quick all right so um, I'm gonna put the switch on on and you guys can see that my uh, signal turns is on. So as soon as I move my steering wheel, right? You move it, you take the turn, put it back. And nothing happens. And the main reason is because my hub does not turn off the signal. So I decided to get a new one to fix that so let's go so the first thing that we're gonna do uh we're going to actually put the steering wheel in the straight position since we're going to remove it we want to make sure that it's on the straight position uh second thing that i'm going to recommend you is to dis disconnect the battery because uh while you're working here you don't want to be you want to be uh, beeping the horn but since i've done it before it's not an issue for me but for you I would recommend just disconnecting the battery. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, you're gonna grab your Allen key and you're gonna start actually uh, removing uh, each uh, bolt, right? And the last one. out and now what we're gonna do we're gonna disconnect the horn which is uh, which one is it this one right here there you go so with that one out we can remove the horn right here put that to the side remove this and now our steering wheel, all one is actually out. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this one real quick. All right, so go ahead and grab your um, <clears throat> uh, three quarters uh, socket and just put it in there. And most likely the whole thing is gonna move a little. So if you can just lock your steering wheel, so it will actually help you with the force. Now that it's locked, there it is. This hub is very hard. <clears throat> see. <clears throat> yeah, so this one is almost out. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put back the steering wheel with two bolts so I can actually put a stray and have a leverage to pull this out. And boom, just like that, the old steering wheel is installed. 
but again when i was moving it it got locked so now what i'm gonna do i want to make sure that my steering wheel gets straight all right now that i got it straight i can actually uh hand muscle it out Seven hours later. Man, finally. Oof. All right, so successfully I got the old steering wheel out. Um, this one is a little smaller. Again, this one is a 320 millimeter versus this one, that this one is a 350. Besides the diameter of this one is bigger as you guys can see If you guys look closer um, The other one is a little bigger plus it's also uh, a lot deeper as well, so There's a side to side comparison almost let me put it like this so you guys can see the difference you guys can see there how tall it is and this one should be just the same way that we remove it will be the same the same way to install it all right so the first thing that we're going to do here we're going to remove this uh this thing is for the horn to work with a stock steering wheel so since we don't have a stock steering wheel uh, we don't need this anymore so this is out our new hub actually has it in the back that's why we don't need it so since my steering wheel goes straight, uh, we're gonna have, you guys can see it right there, it has like the two dots and the one, and we're going to actually go straight just like that. If you look close, um, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Let me see if I can maybe show you. So on the spindle, it's like a small mark that actually tells you the, the center of the, the spline, so. What I'm doing, I'm gonna try to actually uh, mash it up with that. And that is where mine should go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually go ahead and put my, my nut right here. I have to tie that up. And also I have to actually modify my wiring for the horn. So this one is gonna be going out and it's gonna get replaced by one of these ones right here, so. This one is the one that I'm going to be using and you will see this change in two seconds. All right, so just like that, the new hub is on. I did the wiring and I run into a couple issues right now. Um, my clearance over here is too small that I don't have space to pull a horn. So it seems like uh, I don't got, you know, I don't have enough clearance to work with a uh, the horn so basically that's in the middle i don't have uh the clearance to actually do it i try that um i try with the old one and the old one is the same same thing you know like the the big nut is on the middle so i have no options to actually do it, uh put it on so it seems like i'm gonna have to actually run the no horn for now um i didn't want to do that but uh you guys can see how close it is so i guess i don't no, have no option for now um and boom yeah here we have the final product um i think it looks great you know it's a brand new it feels good um a little bigger so most likely this is what i'm going to see when i'm driving which is good because before i couldn't see my tachometer um link in the description if you haven't checked that video on that install but uh yeah uh i have a little more visibility uh it looks good it feels good um did we fix the signals let's find out right now what's my keys all right so switch on on let's put the signal and let's find out turn it and then we go back and oh yeah nice so let's put the right one take a turn 
and boom there is just shut down by itself all right so it seems like we fixed one issue and got into a new issue several days later all right so it's been i don't even know how long um and here i'm back trying to fix uh the issue let me show you so here is uh how the student will look after the last clip um and after thinking i didn't want to spend a hundred bucks trying to get a quick release so instead boom i decided to go with the energy uh spacer so this one right here what it is is actually an spacer that it will give me what i need in order to make the horn work this thing is going to be out in a second and boom yeah just like that i had the steering wheel out and here i have the spacer so the spacer has the uh, nrg logo on it which is kind of cool it's not sponsored by no means but yeah him he up you boys you guys want to help me out so the spacer is supposed to go like that if you guys look at it close it has bolt um has the holes so you can actually uh bolt in the spacer to your hub and then it has other bolts to screw the steering wheel on but by doing that my logo on the top is gonna be uh, backwards or sideways so I don't want to do that so what I decided to do I went to Home Depot and I got myself some long bolts and this should fix the issue let me show you so here I have the steering wheel and I put the spacer on it just like that you guys can see that the bolts are actually long enough in order to go on the hub if I try to use the old bolts, which are those right there, they won't be long enough to go through there. Again, you are not supposed to use it like that, but since I want my energy logo to be in the middle, I decided to run it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mounting this and I'll show you the final product in a second. Let's go. And boom, yeah, just like that, a few minutes later and I have everything on. Um, everything is working the way it should and if you go above you guys can see it right there so I do like a lot how it looks there's another view right there excuse the mess but yeah it's looking looking very nice you guys can see right there energy so it does look very nice I'm very happy with the results and yeah that's gonna be for this video so yeah guys there you guys have it and the B13 now has a new steering wheel and we fix both issue the one with the signals and the one with the horn now everything looks fine everything is working the way it should and I'm very happy with the results so thank you guys for watching you guys have a nice day don't forget to like comment subscribe share a friend that wants to install a steering wheel on the Nissan and I will see you in the next one God bless you all, stay safe and you have a nice day.